In this video instruction you will see how to crochet a gorgeous petal trim flower. The center of the flower made of puffy little round element. This is front side and this is back side. Our petals are visible at the front side of the flower. For work you need a ball of variegated yarn and a crochet hook. Begin making our flower from the round element. Learn to crochet this puffy little round element in tutorial 7 of the crochet elements and projects. The last round of the round element should consist of 18 single crochet stitches. Let's begin round 1. After we check it all single crochet stitches, it should be 18. We begin the work. Turn the work, chain to bring up the yarn, chain 3 for the chain space, 1, 2, 3. Insert the hook into the next stitch by making single crochet. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and single crochet into the next stitch of the previous round. Chain 3 and single crochet into the next stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this round till you will have 18 chain spaces. Once we have done the last chain space, insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 1 is made. Let's start round 2. You should check yourself. It should be 18 chain spaces. Let's start round 2. For this we make first slip stitch into the next chain stitch and make the second slip stitch into the next chain stitch of the chain space. Make chain to bring up the yarn, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, 3 chains and single crochet into next chain space. So keep working, repeat the sequence chain 3 and single crochet till the end of this round. Complete this round together and begin the next one. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. I have just done the second round of chain spaces made of three chains. Let's begin round three. It will be round of three chain spaces. For this make two slip stitches, first one and make the second one, chain to bring up the yarn, chain 3 and make single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 3. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch by making a slip stitch. Round 3 
of the chain spaces has been made. Let's begin round 4. For this, make 2 slip stitches, 1 and the second one. Chain to bring up the yarn, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet into next chain space, chain 3 and single crochet. Continue crocheting in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 4 together. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 4 of the chain spaces have been made, has been made, and we need to make 2 more rounds of the 4 chain spaces. Let's begin round 5. As we did before, we make 2 slip stitches. First one, make the second one, chain to bring up the yarn, and 4 chains, and single crochet. Let's repeat. 1, 2, 3, 4 chains, and single crochet into next chain space chain 4 and single crochet into next chain space. You should continue in this way till the end of this round. I am about complete round 5. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 5 of the 4 chain spaces has been made. We need to make one more for this, make 2 slip stitches, 1 and 2, chain to bring up the yarn, 1, 2, 3, 4 chains, and single crochet into next chain space, 1, 2, 3, 4 chains, and single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, and single crochet into next chain space, 1, 2, 3, 4 chains and make single crochet into next chain space. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Once we have done the last 4 chain space, insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 6 of the chain spaces has been made. Let's start around 7. It will be round of single crochet stitches. For this, make a slip stitch, then chain to bring up the yarn, and make 4 single crochet into this chain space. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then 5 single crochet into next chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 5 single crochet into next chain space. I skipped a stitch between arches. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we skip this stitch and make 5 single crochet more. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You should continue working in this way till the end of this round. To complete the round of single crochet stitches, insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 7 has been made. Let's begin the next round of petals. For this, we make 2 slip stitches. Make the first one into the stitch of the previous round. 
and make the second one into the next stitch of the previous round. Then make a chain of two. One, two. Make a chain of four more. One, two, three, four. Yarn over the hook two times to work with treble crochet. Insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch away from the hook. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times. Then yarn over the hook two times to work with treble crochet. Insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times. One and two. Then we make double treble crochet stitch. Yarn over three times to work with double treble. Insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times. We have just done double treble crochet knot finish, then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain of seven for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, single crochet that we made into chain space and insert the hook into last single crochet or it is the fifth single crochet of the previous round. Make five chains for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. We need to join these five chain space to chain spaces. How to find the chain space that we need to join five chain space to? Let's take a look at the complex stitch. We have just made, it is made above this chain space on the lower row below the chain space there is single crochet on the row which is lower than is one is another single crochet from this single crochet note the next single crochet to the left on the same row around this single crochet we will be doing a front post single crochet to secure the arch. I have just joined 5 chain space and let's look again. Here it is complex stitch we have just made. It is made above this chain space. On the lower row below the chain space there is single crochet. On the row which is lower then is one is another single crochet. From this single crochet note the next single crochet to the left. On the, the same row around this single crochet we have just done front post single crochet. We turn the work. Seven single crochet into five chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then single crochet into single crochet of the previous round. Into seven chain space. I made nine single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
Let's make spiral segment. I'm going to work with chain. At the moment, we're at the back side of the work. Make nine single crochet into chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn the work, continue the work. I will be working with this double treble crochet stitch. Make nine single crochet into this stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We stop and look what we have done. As you can see, the beginning of the spiral segment, after that we will work with this stitch and this stitch. Turn the work Seven single crochet into this stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have the last stitch and make seven single crochet into the last stitch one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. It should be seven of them. I have just done seven single crochet. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we stop again and look at work. We have just done a first row of spiral segment so far. Continue the work. I'm going to work in backwards direction. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the first stitch of the previous row. Then make six more single crochet in total should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Continue the work. Make six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, then half double crochet into next stitch. then half double crochet and double crochet into next stitch. Make half double crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Then double crochet into next stitch. Then double crochet to increase. Then double crochet into next stitch and double crochet to increase into next stitch and just double crochet into next stitch repeat again double crochet to increase 
double crochet then double crochet to increase into next stitch one and make the second one and just double crochet make double crochet to increase and make just double crochet double crochet to increase again and just double crochet double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet to increase and just double crochet I stop in this point here it is our spiral we continue the work and alternate with double crochet to increase and just double crochet double crochet to increase then just double crochet double crochet to increase double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet double crochet to increase one and the second one double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet and double crochet to increase double crochet double crochet we have the last stitch of the previous row and make double crochet 3 increase into this stitch make the first one the second one and the third one before we continue let's stop and look at our spiral I wrap up a spiral a little bit like this I remind you that we didn't finish this petal we have just done a row of double crochet stitches and we continue the work we need to join a petal here it is our stitch that we joined the chain space on the lower row below the chain space there is single crochet and I repeat again let's take a look at the single crochet that we joined a chain space on the lower row below the chain space there is two single crochet stitches there is there is single crochet to the right insert the hook around this single crochet by making front post single crochet we have just joined a petal we turn the work we skip this stitch then make single crochet into the second stitch of the previous row I'm going to make single crochet into each stitch of the previous row I'm 
like this. I'm making single crochet into each stitch of the previous row till the end of this row. Three hook. I continue working I make single crochet into each stitch of the previous row like this Now I am working with central part of the spiral. Here I make single crochet into each stitch of the previous row. We are finishing this row. We need to do some single crochet We'll leave this chain stitch And make the last single crochet Let's look at our spiral I'm going to work with single crochet in backwards direction. Turn the work as we did before. Make a chain and make single crochet into the first stitch of the previous row. And continue making single crochet into each stitch of the previous row. I started this row and you should continue by yourself. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. You should leave some stitches to complete this round together. I'm about to complete this row. As I said before, we make two single crochet. And we will complete this row together. One and the second one. We have the last stitch. I insert the hook into this last stitch by making a slip stitch. Well done. I turn the work. I skip a slip stitch. I make a slip stitch into the second stitch of the previous row. Then we should crochet 10 more slip stitches 
In total, it should be 11 slip stitches. First is done, we need to make 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. We have just done 11 slip stitches. They shouldn't be loose. They should repeat the shape of the spiral. We need to join the petal. Here it is the next chain space. I insert the hook into the fifth single crochet in this chain space by making a slip stitch like this. Our first petal is ready. We have just done such a beautiful spiral petal on the base that we made of chain spaces and we continue the work. Let's begin the next one. You should find the third single crochet or central single crochet that we made into chain space. Make three slip stitches. One, two, three. Then we make a complex stitch. Chain two, then chain four, Yarn over the hook two times, insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch away from the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times. Then yarn over the hook two times to work with treble crochet, insert the hook into the, the same chain stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times. And make double treble, not finish. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Then you should make a 7 chain space and continue. We stop and look at the first petal. In total it should be 6. The first is done. You need to make 5 more. This is front side. And this is back side of the work. Once we have done six petals, let's complete the flower together. After we have made the last petal, I remind you that we have made 11 slip stitches. Insert the hook into the fifth single crochet that we made into chain space and make a slip stitch into this single crochet of the previous round. The flowers is ready. We can cut off the yarn. Let's look at the flower. We have got a beautiful 3D petal flower. This is front side. And this is back. As you can see that all spiral petals are visible at the front side of the flower. For demonstration, I have already made the exact flower of variegated yarn. In this case, we have got a dark center and light petals. In the second flower are light center and dark petals. Such kind flower can be used in any projects, such as Irish or Gipure project, in clothes and as an embellishment. Thanks for watching.